Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I will be showing you how to make this cool multicolored torus in Blender 2.8. And then the first thing I like to do is just hit Control S, create a new tab. I'm just going to name this uh, Color 2. I accidentally hit At, but that's okay. So then I'm going to just delete the default cube, hit shift A, I'm going to add in a torus. I'm going to hit control S again. Blender 2.8 is unstable, so just uh, saving is just a good thing to do. So <coughs> what you're going to need is you're going to need the tissue tool. So this is a Blender add-on, I'm just going to quickly show you how to install it. I'm going to go to Preferences, and then you're going to go to Install, and then I have a folder for all my Blender stuff. So right here I have Tissue V280 Dev, it's going to do Install from Add-on File. So I'm going to leave a link to the GitHub for that in the description. You're just going to want to download the zip from it. You don't need to unzip it. So then I'm going to use the Convert to Dual Mesh tool. I'm just going to save. So now you can kind of see how it's got this weird looking shape. So I'm just going to go to the top corner, pull it out. I'm going to open up the Shader Editor. I'm going to hit New, Shift A, and I'm going to add in a Color Ramp. Next step, I'm going to do, I'm going to um, select the Color Ramp. I'm going to do shift A and mapping and shift A texture coordinate. I'm going to use normals for this. I'm going to hit N to close that. I'm going to go into shading mode. It's going to hit control S to save that. So you can kind of see how there's a gradient on it. Now it doesn't look like the best, so we're going to switch in the color ramp to HSV and then do FAR, say Control S. On the black one, you're just going to scroll up to move it all the way to white, and you're just going to choose blue. And then you're going to select the white slider, and then you want to select whatever kind of color you want to choose, like a color palette for your scene. I'm going to then kind of just going to mess around with the scale. Save it, control S. So that I have this torus with all these colors. I'm going to move down the roughness, move up the metallic. I'm just going to hit control S again. And I'm going to add a modifier and add a wireframe. I'm going to make the thickness 0.01. I'm not going to do replace original, so I'm just going to uncheck that. And I'm going to add a material offset of 1. And I can hit new. I'm going to move up the metallic, and I'm going to move down the roughness. So there's kind of this border around each one. I'm just hit control S again. Save everything. And hit shift A. I'm going to add in a new torus, and I'm going to move the minor radius down to about 0.05. This way, it's a very uh, thin torus. Now, this is going to help us light it from the bottom. Hit new. I'm going to delete the principal BDSF. Shift A. Then I'm going to add an A emission. Shift A, color ramp, and then Shift A, gradient texture, hit Control S just to be safe, and Shift A, mapping, and Shift A, texture, coordinate, add an object. So now you can kind of see at the bottom how it's got that 
gradient. For the black, I'm going to move up the black. I'm going to change it from RGB to HSV. And then far, choose like blue. And then I'm going to choose this kind of purple. So then I'm going to rotate it a little bit. I think I'm going to kind of mess with the settings to see kind of what I like. I'm just going to do some messing around until I find something that looks good. So I kind of like that area. I'm going to hit Shift A, Plane, Scale 8, GZ. I'm going to try to find a good setting, find 2.5 is a good one. I'm just going to delete that sun, shift, uh, and then I'm just going to hit shift D to duplicate it, rotate one, X, 90, hit G, Y, and then I'm going to hit G, Z to move it up, and this will be the reflective surface that we do all the reflecting off of to help give it a backdrop. Just gonna make sure those are all the same color. And then I'm gonna move the metallic up, move the roughness down, shift A, color ramp, shift A, gradient texture, shift A, Mapping. And shift A. Texture coordinate. Use object. Now again, I'm going to move this to HSV. Move that to far. Move that up. Gonna mess with the location on it. So I'm gonna save again. Put that right in the middle. Make it 0.5. I'm gonna rotate it. I think we'll do negative 45. I'll have to make both of these 0.5. I'm just gonna have to change the location for it. I think uh, th 0.35 should be a good number. Go back to the camera. I'll do Shift F. This is flying it. So I can move it in. I think that's going to be a good area. Control Z. And then at the top of your tabs, you have the EV render settings. I'm going to hit Bloom, Subsurface Scattering. Screen space reflections and volumetric shading. I'm going to hit Control S again. I'm going to move this down a little bit more. I'm going to select the second torus. I'm going to move the strength to something closer to maybe five. And I'm going to hit Control S one more time. And for the backdrop, I'm actually going to move up the roughness on it, so it's not a perfect mirror. So this is kind of the basic modeling you need to do. Now, what we're going to do is, if you just render it, you can see the lighting when we actually need to make a world lighting with an HDR. And then also I want to make this kind of brighter. So for world lighting, we're just going to go to the world settings, and in your node editor, we're going to open up world. It has background. You're going to hit Shift A, environment texture, and I'm going to open. Uh, you can use HDRI Haven to find some good HDRIs. I like using Approaching Storm. So hit mapping. 
day texture coordinate just hit control s and then you go into the rendered settings so then if you render it see everything's a lot brighter which is what we want now a lot nicer going to go compositing make sure you use node nodes is clicked we're going to hit shift a we're going to add viewer this makes it so I can see what is being composited and I'm doing it like moving the zoom to 0.5 I'm gonna add in shift a glare I'm gonna make it high I'm gonna do what does ghost look like ghost is a little too extreme for my liking so I'm gonna go if I do fog glow I think I'm just gonna do streaks yeah, so I like streaks, and then before you render it, well, if you then try to render it now, you're going to get the render, and then it's going to say compositing, initializing, execution, and you're going to get this black frame. What you need to do is you need to remove the image output on the glare and move it back to the composite. Save it one more time. Hit F12. And then, bam. You have it all rendered, so you just want to do image, save as, and then just name it whatever you want. I'm just going to keep it as untitled. It's not a good idea to do that. So then that's how you make this kind of metallic faceted torus with color changing surfaces. So guys, thanks for watching. Remember, if you want to see more Blender tutorials, please like this video. Subscribe if you want to see just more videos from me in general. And if you have any ideas for some videos, leave it down in the comments.